Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Wednesday drawing session with me, Frank Cho. There is my trusty art supply, Pentel mechanical pencil with zero point seven millimeter HB lead, kneaded eraser, and my favorite paper, Stratmore bristle board three hundred series with vellum surface. All right, so today. We are going to draw Venom. Now, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero character of all time. And Venom is one of his main villains. Um, at this point, I really don't know if he's a villain or not. Um, as comic book goes, they're constantly changing things. So I guess he's like a, he's like a villain hero, depending on who's writing it. So anyway, so... I really like Venom. Um, actually, no, I didn't like Venom when I first read it because I thought he he just looked goofy. I mean, it was just this big over muscle bound uh, alien monster in a black suit with sharp teeth and this really long, kind of stupid looking tongue that he would hang out. Um, so when I first saw Venom back in the... Uh, I guess back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, around there, um, I, I thought he was kind of stupid. <laughs> and uh, and I, I thought it was like the, the most dumbest thing I've ever seen. Uh, and uh, until I ch completely changed my mind when I saw Simon Bisley uh, draw Venom. Or should I say when he painted Venom and then everything clicked. I said, oh my God, that is like one of the most coolest thing I've ever seen. So with that in mind, I mean, that's the Venom that I like. Um, it's that kind of that Simon Bisley-esque, you know, Venom, which is very overtly muscled, all veiny and all that stuff. So with, with this Venom... I try to capture that spirit, that, that, that monstrous spirit of this almost like a Hulk-like thing, um, this killing machine. And, um, and that's, that's where we are. So with this pose, I wanted him to be kind of like your typical like, uh, monster pose where he's like, kind of like crouching, he's squatting, ready to spring right at you. And, um... And that's always like a classic um, Venom pose because you don't want Venom, Venom kind of standing upright. So if you're like a monster, you kind of want him kind of like bent over, you know, ready to spring at you, ready to claw you. So so that's what I'm drawing. I'm drawing Venom. Um, he's he's squatting, kind of like cr uh, crouching, crouching and uh, and ready to pounce on you. So I've already had this rough image in mind. Um, Venom is always like great when he's like kind of like face forward and just ready to like come at you. And um, and basically, you make the the overall shape. Uh, he's very he's very muscular. Um, so it's it's kind of funny. Like I actually think about bodybuilders. Um, when I draw these overtly muscular, uh, characters, uh, with Venom, I actually thought, um, I actually have Ronnie Coleman in mind. Ronnie Coleman is one of the greatest bodybuilder, uh, one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. Uh, and he, I think won eight, uh, Mr. Uh, Olympia, the, the top bodybuilding award. And they call him the the king, the Ronnie Coleman king, uh, and he is he's the the guy is absolutely massive, and so when I draw Venom, I actually think about him, um, his body type, um, more than anything else because Ronnie had this mass, he's this bald head, bald headed black guy, with this massive shoulder, just massive rounded, deltoids, and he's like absolutely just tree trunk like arms uh, everything about Ronnie was just massive um, 
And so with that in mind, with that body type in mind, that's where I often start with Venom. And since Venom is a, like an alien, um, you can distort the body a bit. So um, it's actually kind of fun just drawing Venom, um, just twisting and pulling the anatomy to fit his uh, character. And Venom has this really cool... Um, I, I'm not a big fan of the Spider-Man with the big giant eyes that Todd McFarlane does. I, I think it's just, it just looks, uh, it just looks ridiculous with the big alien head with the big eyes. I really hate that. I, I thought, uh, I'm not a big fan of Todd McFarlane's, uh, that aesthetic. I'm a big, I'm an old school, um, John Romita Sr. Spider-Man guy. So I, I like that classic Spider-Man with, uh, where everything looks realistic and classical. So with that in mind, uh, I, I try I avoid Venom with that big kind of like alien head with that big goofy white eyes. I try to make him more, uh, more like a predator. So he, his, there's a certain sleekness about him with his domed head and his eyes are more, um, more narrow, more kind of more vicious. So, so you want a very slick looking um, facial structure. He doesn't have a nose, so but he has, I like to put in the cheekbones uh, and this really sharp teeth. And to kind of give it a um, really like a, like, 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 like an alpha predator. And there's that, there's that. And also I try not to go too crazy with the tongue I guess that tongue thing, you know, it, it, if you make it too long, it just looks, it just looks goofy. It just, it just doesn't look right. So I try to keep the tongue not too long, but long enough, long enough to, to get the message across, you know. And there's that deltoid. Make sure um, you have the three large muscle. And the trap. So people ask me, how did I learn my anatomy? Um, so I wrestled in high school, uh, and my coach, uh, Coach Cherry, and uh, Coach uh, Kenty, would really push us to lift weights and all that. And then I fell in love with weightlifting. And then I kind of got, you know, then, then I started buying all these like bodybuilding magazines and um, muscle and fitness and flex and um, and all those magazine. And, you know, and you kind of like start uh, figuring out the muscle grouping and how muscle look and how how they behave at, you know, uh, uh, in motion and all that. So so weightlifting uh, as a kid, as a teenager, really help my understanding of the human anatomy more than anything else. And then by the time I went to college, I went to nursing school. I went to University of Maryland School of Nursing in uh, Baltimore, UMAB. And, and nursing just reinforced my understanding of the anatomy. And also when I was a kid, um, I would, uh, to really understand the anatomy, I would uh, get anatomy books anatomy books and just like draw the uh the figures in it until i understood the um the uh, the, the the muscle structure and all that so that's what it is i mean it, i kind of like brute forced it as a kid i just like kept repeatedly drawing different muscle uh body parts and all that you know with the skin off you know it's just so so you can have an understanding of how all the the muscle attached to the bone and all that stuff so you know i kind of went pretty deep so that's how i learn and i think that that is one of the most effective way of learning the anatomy is just to get like a um, like an anatomy book especially like a bodybuilding um uh, book which has a really good clear uh structural images of how muscle work and all that and how muscle look and work 
and just copy that. You know, if you copy the copy that book, you know, from page one to all the way to the the final page, do it a couple of times, a few times, then that the knowledge of the anatomy will just like, you know, you'll you'll sink right into your brain, and then uh, and you have a clear understanding of how the muscle work and how they look. So that's all it is. I mean, there's no secret. It, that's you know that's that's it. You just you just study uh, study the muscle, you know, and keep practicing drawing it until it becomes like second nature to you. So here's the fun part because like the uh, venom is a a completely black character. His suit, his skin is like completely black. So I try to, you know, I uh, actually go pretty deep with the uh, shading, but at the same time, I try to um, make sure the uh, the anatomy, the, the the muscle works. So when you're drawing the the stomach muscle, the abs, you don't want to do like complete like a very uniform six pack. Um, the body just doesn't look like that. You might want to like you know. Uh, twist and tweak and twist and pull the the ab muscle so it doesn't look too uniform. And the quad is always fun to draw. So the quadricep, if you really look at it, the arm and the leg are essentially very similar. So the quad is 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 the tricep of the arm, uh, and the hamstring is the bicep of the uh, of the leg. So this is the 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 really fun part about drawing venom is uh, you can really hide a lot of the, lot of the shape, uh, in deep shadows, which give it that really kind of the ominous, dangerous, feel to it. drawing his clawed toes. Now the knee is always uh, the one of the hardest body part to uh, draw because when is when you when the leg is uh, standing or bent uh, the position of the the way the grouping of the knee the the patella the kneecap and where the the quads attach to the bone the you know the head of the bone and all that it completely and uh, severely altered the. Uh, the look of the knee, so um, knee is really a, a tricky body part to draw. Now the hand is for me like really easy. Um, I I just you know I, I kind of like uh, I get kind of very uh, very technical with it. As you saw, you saw that I draw the the hand bones, you know, kind of radiate out toward the wrist from the knuckles. That's just purely. Um, medical and once you get that and it, it's just easy to draw the hand there you go and then same with that where he's kind of his hand is not quite a fist but kind of like a clawed hand and so if you really want to learn how to draw a hand uh, I, I said it in other videos look at neil adams hand uh, neil adam is the one of the greatest comic book artists i've ever come across and he is absolute master at drawing hands and fingers. And so every time I get stuck, get stuck uh, or need inspiration when, it come, when I draw hands, I look at Neil's stuff. Neil is, um, Neil is absolutely just top notch. You know, love, love that guy's art.
So I like to, you know, kind of like uh, smear the graphite a little bit just to give it that little softness. Just give it that that extra, the extra texture and effect on the muscle. Again, so the, the, the secret to drawing Venom's face is he doesn't have a nose, but you kind of have to give it like a hint of a nose, uh, meaning that where the nose is, you kind of have to project it forward a little bit. Almost, you know, there's a slight canine quality to it. Just kind of project the, that part a little forward, uh, and that, that makes a world of difference. So it's actually kind of funny because when I was younger and when I first saw Venom, I, I thought it was, it was one of the most goofiest characters I've ever seen. But now um, I've drawn Venom so much. Uh, he's actually one of my favorite characters to draw because there, there's something just, you know, I, I'm a big horror monster guy and, and Venom definitely uh, checks off a lot of that, that monster um, checklist. And he's just absolutely a fun character to draw. Um, I haven't read too much of the Venom book because, again, they're just constantly changing his personality. I think he went through like four different characters have become Venom. Uh, there's Eddie Brock, the original Venom. And I think, um, I think Flash Thompson was also Venom at one point. And then you have like a new guy as the Venom. Um, so they're constantly rotating, uh, changing the characters and each character is very different. And I think when, uh, Flash Thompson was the Venom, he wasn't, he was more like a soldier because, um, um, uh, I guess each of the, when this, when the alien, um, uh, takes over, uh, and I guess the, the personality of the, the character kind of kind of dictates who that Venom is. So right there, I, I kind of added the highlights by, you know, by you know, by erasing. So. So just just giving a simple, erasing job would create a like really distinct highlight. So that's always um, so again, don't be afraid to use the eraser uh, as a drawing tool. Uh, you'll see later what I mean, and uh, and don't be afraid to erase in general. Uh, as I said before, if it looks right, it's right. If it looks wrong, then it's wrong. And you go in and you just change it. So don't be af don't fall in love with your art to a point where you don't want to uh, change it or alter it um, during the pencil stage. Um, because this pencil stage is the most exciting stage, to me anyway. Because I'm just going in there and just like, just putting it all, everything on paper to see what works and what doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, then I get to just erase it, you know. Same thing with writing. Um, like, uh, don't fall in love with your work. If something just doesn't work, then you just, like, cut out that scene or, or just, you know, just completely, you know, erase that scene. Same with art. Uh, if the... If, parts of that drawing doesn't work you just erase it just erase it and you know, just uh, just 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 be fearless just just erase it and just redraw it and if it still doesn't look right then you know after you're struggling with it then you walk away you walk away and you come back with a fresh eye later and then uh, and and then work at the problem again
So the light source uh, is coming from about like 12 o'clock. If it's a clock, it's around 11, 12, and 1 o'clock. That's my, that's my go-to um, light source. And, uh, and that, that is always the best light source to me. Um, because it's always, uh, that's always like the easiest to create the, the, the highlights. I often erase parts that I've drawn uh, because it's a little too messy for me. I, I, I kind of like to keep my drawing tidy. So I, I didn't really screw up on that hand. It's just that it was, there just, it was just a little too messy. So, so it's just easier to erase the whole thing. And you still see like a faint uh, outline of the original drawing. And then I just go back and... Um, and redraw the hand, you know, using the original, uh, the faint outline of the original drawing as, as guide. Because, you know, like, there's a lot of stray marks that it's just kind of a pain to erase uh, individually. So sometimes it's just easier just to erase the whole thing, you know, lightly and, and, and use that, um, use the faint uh, pencil line from the original drawing as a guideline to redraw it, redraw it cleaner, you know. Check out that gnarly claws. Again, this Venom is such a fun character to draw. Especially when you're a big monster freak like me. So again, how the each of the body parts, the upper body and the lower body, how it kind of like... Uh, is uh, structurally very similar. So inside of the forehead is essentially uh, um, very similar to the calf muscle. So just think about that. So going back to using the, erase, the eraser as a drawing tool. So this is what I'm drawing and this is what I'm doing. I'm actually erasing, uh, lifting the, uh, the graphite out uh, and to create the uh, to create the uh, the veins and all that. And then once I kind of erase the erase the, the the outline of the veins out with an eraser, I go in and uh, add the shadows underneath uh, uh, the veins and just give it that really tight three-dimensional look. So when I do these vein, I actually think about Frazetta, Frank Frazetta, a lot. Uh, you could you could see definitely see my influences. I mean, see Frank Frank Frazetta's influences on my art, and uh, I just love drawing the veins and all that. So that's the secret. You don't you don't go too crazy. Um, much as I love Simon Bisley stuff, I thought he went a little bit too crazy with the uh, the veins and all that um, to a part. To, uh, to a point where it's kind of like uh, cartoony. <laughs> um, so you just want to, you just want to give enough veins and, um, and stuff like that just to give it that sense of realism without uh, crossing the line of being kind of um, cartoony and, and kind of absurd.
So there you go. You can see in the arm, you know, if you really think about it, the elbow is the knee, um, the tricep is the, the quad, uh, and the bicep is the hamstring, and the, the forearm, inside of the forearm is the calf, and then the wrist is the ankle, and the hand is the foot. So, yeah, just think about that. It's, it's actually kind of funny. The more you study anatomy, the you know, the, how everything is kind of, can be broken down, you know, uh, very simply. And then just drawing the vein. Now you don't want a vein, you don't want to draw the vein very too uniform like because it, it kind of defeats the purpose of drawing veins, you know, if, you, if it's everything too uniform. So you kind of give it like a, it's almost like a river. Just give it that slight irregular pattern and uh, and directions. Yeah, drawing that hand. Really enjoy drawing the hand. So as you can see, when I draw the hand, I just give it the rough shape, the kind of rough abstract shape, and just just have the fingers kind of like uh, um, radiate out, you know, just with a very quick uh, pencil notation, pencil line notation. And then now using that as a rough guide, I go in and kind of fill out the, uh, the, the, the thin pencil line. So it's almost like uh, adding meat to the to the bone, you know. Love drawing those knobby knuckles on the hand. The reason I'm kind of like rubbing the, the graphite down to make, give it that soft, the overall softness and all that, because that comes in really handy when I'm drawing the vein, because I'm going to later just erase the vein. Uh, there you go. So I'm, I'm erasing the, the graphite out. To give it that, you know, to uh, to illustrate the vein, the, the vein in the arms and the hand and all that is. Again, this is uh, this, it's not rocket science, you know. Like a lot of this stuff, just you just look at bodybuilding magazine, and you could kind of see where how how the veins kind of radiate out, how it falls on the the arms. Absolutely love drawing the veins. It's, it's, it's such a it's such a simple, effective trick when drawing. And it's always fun. the 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 final product is always so so fun to look at, you know, because it's just a very simple simple process.
and the quad. So this is just a very simple um, trick to give it that three-dimensional look. The top half is in the light, so you just make sure you don't put too much shading in it. And the bottom half is where it's like a ball curving, that, uh, like a ball curving inside. To think of that, and then so that part is completely in shadows. So you just you just uh, darken that, shade that whole area up, and and just give it that instant, that three dimensional look. Again, you need to be mindful where the light source is. Once you have the general light source, then you can just do that light and shadow thing really easily. So at this point, I'm just kind of like uh, just messing around, you know. It's not quite accurate the the how the knee falls, but you know he is an alien and and a big giant monster. So it's always fun to kind of like push and pull the the anatomy a bit, you know, but not too much to a point where it just he looked just ridiculous. But just kind of give it that just just enough to give it that uh, the the sense of realism. And at this point, I'm just reinforcing the the, the overall outline, darken the, uh, the the shadows, and the the tongue and the the alien symbol on his chest. Yeah, Phantom is just absolutely just just a fun character to draw, you know. There I am just softening things up a little bit, to, you know, to give it the extra sense of realism. Again, there I am just adding the, the veins on the legs. Normally, I don't draw veins on the legs because it's kind of distracting, but with Venom, it, you know, it's on, it's on par, you know, because he's just a veiny character. Oh yeah, that, that vein that wraps around at the bottom part of the forearm. And then here I am just roughly uh, drawing the, the background to give it the to give it the overall figure weight. And again, it's just like general shape. I, uh, I didn't plan anything. So I just give it like the hint of that rocky environment that he's on. And I'm just kind of like 
reinforcing the line, darkening the shadows. Just adding the final touches. So, there you go. This is uh, Venom, one of my favorite Spider-Man villains, and an absolutely a fun character to draw. So there it is, Venom.